Hello everybody. Welcome back to SMB Growth Seminar. In this module, we are going to look into very important aspect of how one can use e-commerce for the market growth. Now, e-commerce has grown leaps and bounds in the last say few years. If you see this growth is a worldwide data, you look where we are, we are in some 5 point something trillion US dollar and the expected growth as we can see it will touch about 8 trillion US dollar in about say short period of say 2 or 3 years time which is a very very good growth. So this is about the world. What about in India? India is not far behind. So it is about say 74 billion USD now the market for e-commerce. So it is going to touch approximately 300 billion USD by 2030 which is again a phenomenal growth and by as per the local circle survey about 64 percent of indian msmes they say there is growth in their business through e-commerce now just imagine with 84 crore internet connections in india and maybe close to 1 billion devices what we indians have let us say the trigger is already pulled and the market is already on now let us talk for a while why e-commerce for SMEs? If I ask you a question, yes, e-commerce is not for big corporates alone. That is a fact. Why SMEs should also consider e-market route? You see the chart over here. There are a lot of benefits. I mean, the answer is right over there. So there are a lot of benefits for Indian SMEs through e-commerce. You see, all the parameters are looking north. But I will put in a short two or three sentences. One. The moment you go to e-commerce, you have access to new market immediately. Two, there's always a possibility of export the moment you start using e-commerce. You can reach the customers all over the world. And remember some businesses, for example, GEM, government e-market, it works only through e-commerce route. It is not like any physical route. Then you have got complete access for, say, GEM portal. And GEM is already aspiring to touch 2 lakh crores of GME, that is gross merchandise value this year alone. It's a big number, right? So, even SMEs should consider using e-commerce, not for only big corporates, even SMEs should very strongly consider using e-commerce as one of the route for expansion of market and customers. Of course, the last but not the least important thing would be payments. The payments are very clear, faster, transparent when you operate through e-commerce most of the time compared to any traditional way of business e-commerce can give you these immediate benefits now let us look into different types of e-commerce platform there are different uh, platforms available catering to different needs different customers let us look into the direct to customer route called d2c there are some differences between uh, traditional uh, retailer route and direct to customer route Direct to customer route, you are cutting down many other uh, intermediaries and making sure your product goes to the customer with the least stoppages in between. What are the advantages? Obviously, lesser cost, right? There are so many intermediaries who were there before, they are not there. It goes almost directly to the customer. And you will get immediate feedback from the customer or you can communicate to the customer in a better way, faster way. And the feedback can also be faster. Second thing would be, uh, the disadvantage portion if you see yes because it's direct to customers based on effectiveness of your advertisement you may not reach all the possible corners of your segment maybe the reach of the customer may be lesser based on the effective the effectiveness of the ad plays a huge role and how good is your website it is very very important when you go for d2c so people are going to come into the whole traffic is going to come into your website so your website got to be perfect right but in a nutshell, you will get a very, very beautiful and very good customer relationship through direct to customer role. But let, now let us come to a very well known uh, platform that is B2C, that is business to customer. Most of the platform what we use on day to day basis may be B2C. There is a little bit of difference between D2C and B2C. D2C you can see and not many intermediates in between. It goes directly from you maybe one marketing or one person then it goes directly to the consumer whereas b2c yes it goes from you to the retailer and then it goes to the warehouse and goes to, to the consumer yes it is a little bit longer route but there are several advantages why you can upload wide variety of product range 
and it is a good platform to reach many many segments it is not that you are going to reach only one and scalability is possible when you go for b2c but there are a couple of disadvantages yes obviously lower margin why because you are going through a few more intermediaries compared to d2c longer sales cycle yes it is not directly to the customer it comes to uh, various people and then finally it comes to you so of course the, the sales cycle will take a longer time and it is mostly good for high volumes when you are aiming for high volume then you can go for uh, b to c now this is the route that is followed by most of the e-commerce aspirants so whatever you and me are using most of the time is through this very well known uh, business to customer route now let us look into business to business now ladies and gentlemen you may think business to business who will buy directly one business to another business is it possible but ladies and gentlemen several surveys indicates that even business to business many organization they look at e-commerce platform route because it is it has got many benefits right it is easy to use you can get volume discount i mean you can immediately go and reach the right person minimum order quantities can be uh, decided and planned in advance there are a lot of benefits for a business to approach another business directly so this is gaining momentum and which is becoming very very popular too but there are some disadvantages yes limited markets lesser bargaining power for the seller say one business goes through e platform route to another uh, say buyer who is also a, a business yes the bargaining power of uh, say this company may come down right and it may take a little bit longer time to close the deal because now we are talking from one business to another business so this could be some disadvantage but just remember ladies and gentlemen this model is gaining lot of ground the biggest customer in india is the government not many people think like that we think the customer means we are thinking of some corporates or some individual customer just remember government is one of the biggest customer in india so business to government model is something you should not and cannot ignore so i am just bringing to your notice again gem government e marketplace who has not enrolled please do enroll of course we will be giving a small exercise also a uh, later part of our seminar to you but please do consider enrolling into government e marketplace where there's enough potential for you to get good business what are the advantage when you go to government e marketplace it is completely online of course assured payments for government of india stand guarantee it is a huge market we'll see next slide how huge it is there are reservation for smes and i mean it is a very beautiful place to get hand on a huge market yes there are some disadvantages of course as with any other platform yes you may not get frequent orders it is not like you know you know one time you make a business every time you'll get business you may not but one time you may get a good business and frequently slowly it is increasing also there are lot of competition many people are enrolled for gm obviously there are going to be lot of competition yes there is going to be price pressure but if you manage your operation efficiently if your cost structure is good don't look any further than gm it is very important but unfortunately not many smes have fully explored this option i'm using fully because maybe they are enrolled but they are not spending enough time to go through every day what are the option that is available what is the new requirement that has come and you know that you you can even add your product to that platform how many of us know how to do so this is very important to understand the complete potential of gem if you see some of the statistics here i just pulled out uh, from uh, uh, gem website it is from my laptop close to almost 60 lakh i mean customers are there there are 60 lakh people are waiting to give you order and if you see the sales what is done is 3 lakh 60000 crores 3 lakh 60000 crores so no wonder gem is one of the biggest market for smes and you see the reservation given for Uh, SMEs also. There is a lot of sale being done by SMEs. So this, in, in a nutshell, a wide data. But uh, I, I urge you to get into Gem website, understand totally. If you're not registered, please do register. So don't forget it. There is an ocean of opportunities there to explore. Now, yes, there are different types. So which is the right platform? We did discuss earlier what could be the possible uh, uh, factors which you can choose the right platform. Let us just go through some of them. Number one. what is the target audience and number who is your target audience you are looking at you know individuals you are looking at a corporate you are looking at a youth you are looking at you know housewives it depending on that 
many many possibilities are there so you choose the platform correctly don't jump into any platform and what are the numbers you are looking at if you are looking at volumes yes b2c is possible but you are looking at a niche customers individual customer who knows direct to customer may help so consider these factors then what is the product to be marketed your product is a one off product or a high value product or a little bit low value product or it is used by everybody common man or it is used by some industries based on the product again you are going to choose the platform user experience is very very important when you when you choose the platform you have to make sure that you go to a platform which goes which gives absolutely beautiful user experience otherwise the customers are not going to get into the platform and buy your product so always check evaluate and confirm what type of user experience the platform is offering another important thing to choose the right platform is customer support when you expect your customer to buy your product through a specific platform kindly check what type of customer support they are offering both for you as well as for your end customers they must be giving world class say support to your customers especially if you have any doubt on that please avoid that platform move to some other platform cost of course each platform obviously they charge some amount what is the percentage each of them are charging to you to upload your products for your customer so that cost can actually vary a lot yes it of course varies based on the numbers of products sold everything but basically there is a cost compare the cost before deciding which platform you want to choose and what is the pricing discount possibilities for you the logistic possibilities how amenable is to to your say point of view uh, how like how we saw the channel partner here also the platform should be amenable to you uh, there should be you know understanding that should be existing between you and the platform so these are the things that matter before you consider which platform you are going to choose always make a comparative chart make a comparative chart before taking a final decision so make a chart on all these factors what is the audience what is the number what is the product to be marketed what is the user experience give some ranking give some marks then finalize a b c d and decide on which platform to go simply don't jump into any platform without doing this analysis which is very very critical now one of the last slides i want to show you is the role of mobile phones right you see the business that is growing out of mobile phone it is going up and up and up and up so all of us we are taking serious investment decision using our mobile phone we do in our life right personal life not everybody or not every time we jump into a laptop or a tab to take a decision many times we do take serious investment decision just looking into the data into our smartphone so this is a evolving phenomena so what it means to you so more and more decision since it is being taken through mobile make sure that your website e-commerce platform everything must be mobile friendly so you have a website which was beautifully on a desktop but say if you look into a smartphone your website maybe some of them are not visible or not functional so it is not user friendly when you are seeing it through your mobile phone so make sure that your website e-commerce platform everything is mobile friendly so that you attract most of the mobile user to buy always consider the factors such as overcrowded information for example you are seeing in a desktop your your e platform whatever detail you are uploading yes if you have too many details yes it is visible in the desktop but same thing you see in the smartphone may not be so easily visible and the type and the quality of pictures you upload again always think like a end customer assume you have a smartphone so it should not be crowded it should be very pleasant and easily readable so some of these factors are very important please remember because more and more people are buying through smartphone so consider that aspect of business too so many younger generation they prefer what we call on the go buying so i, I am on the move i am in the car as i am walking as i am talking i am buying a few things so make sure that it is amenable and it is suitable for uh, smartphones now i just listed down some of the e-commerce website within india there are several i just put uh, the top say 8 or 10 based on or number of visitors who visit this particular e-commerce website a few of them i listed out it keeps changing of course every month it may change but these are the top say 7 or 8 you will find different types whatever we discuss now most of them are listed down various types of platforms are there this is within india but it is possible to do you know you, you can even export from india abroad by using e-commerce platform options available are plenty but again i'm listing down few of them okay so you can choose need not be only these maybe more are available but 
please do not hesitate to explore these uh, websites e-commerce platform to make sure that your uh, business is expanding that's very important to use now yes you are lined up your platform everything ready so what next everything is ready you are selected again please go for single point of contact between your company and platform just because you know your business is online now that doesn't mean everything is going to happen on its own so start analyzing the data every day every week who is logging in how many minutes he has spent your website what how was his buying experience why did he go out without buying analyze lot of data is available so please bring in those data analytical points analyze check the reports every day and always track the complaints many time people do come to the customer resolve the problem wherever possible that is very very critical as early as possible encourage the customers to give feedbacks Pos- positive feedback reviews even improvement point don't hesitate so improvement point always give a company a way to improve your operation so always get feedback positive negative everything and bring in philosophy of kam what is kam KM stands for key account management like how we have for a customer one person is almost like a spot you have your KM also key account manager also discussing with your platform or handling the platform almost like a individual customer and doing all the job of a KM as a person don't forget it and it is not just the product but your brand tagline philosophy is what you are putting in your e-commerce platform you see uh, why people come to e platform it's a important thing is customer experience they look for how is your branding how is your philosophy what is your tagline what you stand for it's not just the product these are also important basically how good is your website is also very very critical you should address all these things because 90% of people who buy they always come to your website check everything and then go back and buy so make sure that your website is perfect so these are the few factors you have to keep in mind to do business through e platform and thank you so much ladies and gentlemen please reach out to me for implementation support or hand holding in any way my name is given my mobile number is available my website is available looking forward to listen from you thank you